Hi, it's Jenny from Buggy Baby, and today we're taking a look at the Joy Signature Push Chairs, and I've got two here to have a look at. I've got the Finity and the Area. So the Area Push Chair is part of Joy's Signature range, which is their premium range, and there's some really great features on this. So it is compatible with the Ramble Carry Cot, and it's also compatible with car seats. Now I believe that there are adapters included so that when you buy separately the carry cot or the car seats, you'll be able to just pop them onto the frame easily. Now this push chair you can use from birth up until 22K. The seat lies flat and you can turn it parent facing and also outward facing. So we're going to have a look inside this box. We'll set the push chair up and then we can have a look at all of the features. We retail this push chair at £424.99. pence. As I said, it is their premium range and I believe that's going to be reflected in the fabrics and the amount of features that it has. The one that we're looking at is the Eclipse colour. It's a nice sturdy box. If we turn it round, we can see on here it's got um, some information about the features that the push chair includes. It tells us that it's a four in one push chair and that you can combine it with the carry cot and an infant carrier and that you can have it forward or rearward facing with a lie flat rec recline. It talks about the basket, the fact that the frame is adjustable so you can move the height up and down and then it's talking about the compact fold so we're going to have a look at all of that let's just get the box open now i'm really excited to have a look at this one because i have not seen it in the flesh yet i've read about it i've seen all the pictures and it looks really nice so i'm excited to get this out of the box and have a look and see what it does all right let's get it open Here we go. Now, I don't know how much setting up it's going to need. Normally you've got to put the wheels onto the push chairs, but we will find that out when we get in here. Let's take all of this away. Okay. Now I think the easiest thing to do would be to tip this out. It was quite heavy. Oh, look at that. You can already see that's really nice quality. Seat fabric's really soft on this. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. Right, let's get this out. Okay, just check there's nothing else in the box at the bottom, just the bumper bar. And we can go through and see what we've got in here. Right, so we've emptied the box. We have got inside the box, obviously the frame here. We've got a bumper bar. Here are the front swivel wheels. Now these are foam filled wheels. So they're gonna be great for off-road, um, well for anything really, you can use them anywhere, um, but they'll give a really smooth steer and make it really easy to maneuver this push chair. In here, this must be the back wheels by the look of it. Oh, look at the size of those. There's the back wheels. And importantly, here's the instruction manual. We might have to refer to that to get this together. Adapters. So they're going to be the adapters that we use if you were going to put the carry cot on or a compatible car seat. It's really useful to have those included. It's quite unusual actually for a push chair to include adapters. You normally have to purchase them separately. So that's a good one. I'm not sure if there is a rain cover included. Right then, let's get this frame up and then we can have a look at putting the wheels on. Oh, got rain cover there. There we go. So it does include a rain cover. Very useful. Here is, if we just snip this off, the hood. There we go. So we'll attach that on in a bit. Then let's work out how we get this frame up. Let's have a look at this. There we go, in place and ready for the wheels. So we're gonna pop them on now. 
So the instructions are telling me to start off with the front swivel wheels, so that is what we will do. Let's have a look at that. <clears throat> it looks to me like this are just going to slot into place. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you go, that's one in. Turn it round, do the next one. So you can see there, it's just slotting in. I have to turn it. There we go. Okay. So it needs a little bit of a wiggle so that you've got it the right way round. But that's the wheels in. Now they look locked to me, so I wanted to work out how to unlock those. Oh, here we go. As you can see here, this locks and unlocks the wheels. So you would just move it to one side to lock it and then one side to unlock it. So there we go, got the swivel wheels on. Let's move on to the back wheels. Okay, looking at the back wheels, I can see here, there's a little shape that guides us to which way round the wheel needs to go in, so that it slots in. So you can see here on the silver stud part, and here we match it up, and it just slots into place. Now, whilst we're doing these, I just re-mentioned that these are foam-filled tyres, so they're rubber foam-filled, which is going to give you great manoeuvrability, but also it means they're puncture-proof, which is really good, rather than an air-filled tyre where you might risk a puncture. So that is useful. Right, let's slot this one in the same way. Get it the right way around. So I need to match it up. And then it slots. There we go. The wheels are on. So we're going to get the hood on next. Now the hood is UPV 50 plus, so it's going to give some protection for your little one while they're in there. Now the clasp doesn't go on the frame. It goes on this part of the buggy, not this part of the frame, which normally when you attach hoods, that is where you'd expect it to go. But we can see here, we've got a little bar bit that's revealed and we're going to hopefully, easily, attach it there. I always find these very fiddly, so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get it in without any problems. Oh, there we go. Round the other side. Oh, slot that in. Did the other one, we've got to be able to do this one. There we go. Just almost a bit more fiddly than you think they're going to be. But I can see here, there's a zip part. So we've got a zip here and a zip here that's going to attach to get the hood on snugly. So let's do that. There we go. There we go. Round the other side. Look at that. That is very smart. And finally, we're going to attach the bumper bar. Nice little lever at detail here. So I'm assuming this is just going to pop in for us. Is there a way round to do it? Looks all the same. Let's see. There we go. So there we are. That is the push chair complete and all together. And now we're going to go round the push chair and have a look at everything that it's got to offer. Right, starting off with the seat unit. There looks like there's going to be a lot to look at on here. But I can see here that this, this part is removable. Now that makes me think that you might be able to wash it if you need to, remove it and wash it. It is so padded that is going to be really comfortable for your child. The whole thing is really soft material, very cosy, they're very protected in there. I think this is one of the most comfortable looking pushchairs that I've seen so far. So. 
I know that the seat does all sorts of things. We know that it turns round parent facing and forward facing. So we could start off by looking at that. Now somewhere there's going to be some release buttons to remove the seat unit off of the frame. So let's have a look. Okay, this looks promising. Looks like it's going to be those. So, oh, that is so easy. Just came off really easily. Then that slot that back in. Oh, there we go. Well, that's simple, isn't it? I'll take you no time at all to do. I'll just show you again how we did that. So here on the side are the bits that you need to press in to get the frame off. So you're going to do both of them at the same time. Press them up. The seat unit just removes and then if you have a look here this is what we're putting the seat unit back into now I would think that the adapters go in here they'll just slot in and that means you're going to be able to pop the carry cot on and off as well as the compatible car seat so it's a very simple and effective way of doing it there's been no messing around there right let's pop this in in it goes, it clicks into place as well, so you know you've got it right. And there we go, we are forward facing again. The part here for their legs, the calf support, is also adjustable. So there's two little buttons there. Press them in at the same time. That moves that down for you. That's simple. So it looks like we've got two positions for it to go in fully down fully up so when they're tiny and they need a little bit more support for their legs you'd have it like that as they grow you would pull it down now if we turn this around let's have a look at how we do the back adjustment so every push chair is different so you always have to have a little look see how it works I think this has got a few different reclines to the seat. I can see here the bar. So normally with these sorts of ones, you have to push the bar up. So let's have a look. Yep, push it up. It releases the backrest and then it will drop down into its first position. So if we keep doing that, so that's one, that's another one, two, and then that's fully flat. So we'll do that back up again. So you push the bar up, let it drop into position and it will click into place to show you that it's in a position and then that's all the way up. So let's get it back down to lie flat. One, two, right. So we can have a look in here and see how flat it lies. There we go. So your baby is going to be so comfortable in that. It is so snug, so protected. They're going to be cocooned in there. It'd be lovely. With some push chairs, you look at it and you instantly think that's probably going to want a liner, especially if you're putting a newborn in there. But for this, no way do you need anything in there. They will be perfectly comfortable. And although you can combine it with a carry cot, there would be no need to unless the carry cot is your preference because you can see how cocooned they are in there, which would be the same really as with a carry cot. Um, the main difference is on a live flat push chair like this, you've still got a very, very slight recline. With a carry cot, they would be lying flat. The next thing I'm going to look at is the height adjustment. So it says on the instructions and on the box that you can adjust the seat unit so that it can go up or down. So let's have a look at how we would do that. Have a look around here. You can see some little buttons either side. Should we try them? Let's see what that does. Push them in. Oh, there you go. Push them in, move it up. Let's see how high it goes. So I can see here, this is the height that we're gonna go to. Right, that's right at the top now. Now you can see there how high that has moved them. Now I imagine that's going to be really nice when they're facing you because then you've got them really close up to you. So if we take the seat unit off, we can have a look at that. Pop that off. Pop 
it on. There we go, we're in place, look how nice that is. So, when they are tiny, even when they get a bit bigger, lots of people still like to have them parent facing when they're bigger, they're gonna be really close to you. So it's gonna be comforting for you, comforting for the baby. That is a really nice feature. Now let's have a look at moving the seat back down. So let's go back to these little gray buttons. We're gonna press them at the same time. Now I think you're gonna to have to lift, press the buttons in and lift it up to release the seat and then it will go down. So let's give that a go. So I'm pressing them in. I've heard it click, I've moved it up to make it click and then it's gonna drop back down. To look at the fold, we're gonna to have to turn the seat unit back round to forward facing because I don't think this folds whilst parent facing. So let's just quickly do that. There we go. Okay, that's in place. Let's have a look how we fold it. Now I've seen here, again, I've got two little gray buttons. I think the fold is something to do with the handle. So let's try that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Right, I'll try and do that a bit more gracefully for you so you can see that properly. Right, so we'll show this again. Here's the little grey bits. Now I'm going to press them, pull them up, and then push the seat unit downwards. And that's your fold. There should be a clasp there, yeah. Let's lift this up. Okay, not the smallest fold in the world. It's quite a chunky size, but then it's quite a big buggy. You're certainly gonna be able to get that in a normal size boot. And if you've got a tiny boot, you could probably just about do that, I'd imagine. But this is an all round push chair, so I wouldn't expect it to be too much smaller. And then let's get this back up, unclasp it. And we're back up. I'm going to look at the hood in more detail now because this, I think, is an extendable hood. Let's have a look. Now, somewhere I'm expecting to find a zip. I can see a zip there. Spin it round. Oh, there we go. Unzip that. Look at this. There you go. You want to get your baby to sleep? No worries. Especially when they're lying flat, that's great, isn't it? You've got a little ventilation part here to keep them nice and cool. We've got more ventilation here to help keep them cool. And obviously you can remove this very easily by just unzipping and unclasping it as well. So let's push this back up. That's a great feature, that. You don't find it too often on push chairs, so it's nice when you do. Okay, now, Let's have a look at the basket. It's a quite an odd shaped basket, this one. It's slightly slanted, so hopefully things are gonna stay in okay. We've got a divider here. This looks like it would come apart. Yeah, there you go. So if you have slightly bigger things, you can just undo the divider. However, with the divider on, it will make things easier to find. Put that back on. And here, you see this little bit of Velcro. You've got a little area where you could put your phone, your purse, anything like that, and it'll be nicely covered and secure and also really easy for you to reach it as well. Oh, there we go, another pocket there. That's handy, a nice little hidden pocket. Again, you could put your phone in there if you needed to. We've got the brake on the back wheel where you would normally expect to find a brake and it's just a standard brake so you would use your foot to push it down and then you would flick it back up. Going back to the seat unit now, we are going to have a look at the straps. So I can see here that they are height adjustable. So normally to do that, you would just pull it through from the back and then re-slot it in so it's gonna grow with your child. Now, I think these are magnetic. 
let's have a look at that. So they're meant to be easier to strap your child in. Let's have a look and see. So, oh yeah, they go in nice. Yeah, so there's a slight magnetic pull there, which will make it um, hopefully a bit more seamless for you if you've got a baby wriggling around in there. So you use this little part here to undo it. And then you would just slot them into place. And obviously all of the straps are adjustable as you would expect to find. Got nice little details here, really little smart touch. I love the tan accents on there. I'll give it a little push round for you so you can see how easy it is to push. It feels so sturdy, like a real proper, proper push chair, very sturdy. Really easy to push, not going to have any problems there. It's got a nice kind of chunky feel to it, which I know some people really like with their push chairs. Spin it round, have a look at the handle. So we can see here we've got a leverette handle. It's very comfortable, really smart. Not going to have any worries about that being uncomfortable to push at all. Right, let's turn it back round. Okay. So there we have it. That is the Joy Area Signature Push Chair. So as I said, this is their premium range. It retails with Buggy Baby at £424.99. And, and it is a beautiful push chair, in my opinion. If I was having another baby, I think I'd go for this. Really smart, does loads of stuff. But the main thing for me is the fabrics. They are so comfortable and really soft. And obviously, if you're going to be using the pushchair a lot, um, you know, if, if you're going to be using this every day and your baby's in there for a lot of time, you want something really comfortable and snug. And you can definitely see this is going to grow with your baby. It goes up to 22K, so you're going to get a good few years of use there. The Finity Push Chair is suitable from birth to 22k and we retail this at £399.99 and if you have a look at the box it tells us there that it's four strollers in one. Now the reason for that is that you can attach a carry cot, you can attach a compatible car seat and you can also move the seat unit forward facing or parent facing. If we spin this round on the box, it talks about the puncture-proof tyres, so the foam-filled puncture-proof tyres, and it also talks about the fold. So um, one of the really good things about this is it's meant to have a very um, compact fold, so it's easy to store. So it's packaged very nicely, nice sturdy box. Let's get into it. I'm looking forward to seeing this one because the signature range from Joy is really smart looking. They use some really nice fabrics. So I haven't seen this in the flesh, so I'm really looking forward to opening this up and seeing what it's like. Now, there you go, that's how it comes in the box. All packaged up. Let's get into it. We will tip this out. bit of weight to it. Oh it looks a nice colour. Really nice looking materials there. Here we go. Right let's see what we've got in here. We pull the plastic off. So like I said, this is the oyster colour. I think there are other colourways in this. There we go. So we have got inside the box. Let me move this over. This looks like an inlay that we'll need to put on. We've got here the back wheels. Nice large back wheels. These are foam filled rubber, so they're puncture proof. There's our swivel wheels. 
There we go. Ha, ah, now, these are the adapters. So these are included with the push chair and the adapters will go onto the frame so that you can put on the carry cart and the car seats that are compatible. That's a nice added bonus, having them included. With a lot of push chairs, you would have to purchase them separately. We have got a cup holder, so that's gonna clip onto the frame. And we should have, here we go, an included rain cover. So you have everything in here that you need. I can see we've got an instruction manual in here as well. Okay, so we'll need to get the frame up and then we can get the wheels on. So let's have a look at how we do this. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so that's clicked into place and we'll have a look at the fold and how we put it back down again in more detail later because it's quite a different fold compared to some other push chairs but first off let's get the wheels on so if we have a look at the instructions let's see what it tells us to do first right it's telling us to put the swivel wheels on first so turn the push chair around this is where the swivel wheels are going to go. Pop that down there. Right. So you can see here, we're just going to pop them in, hopefully. Okay, let's do the other one. Pop that in. There we go. Okay. Now those wheels are locked, so let's work out how to unlock them. On the wheels here, you can see we've got this little black piece here that we're just gonna turn and that will release the wheels so that they're unlocked. Right, let's do the back wheels. Okay. Here is the pin. Here is what we're putting it into. So we need to match up that pin and pop it in. There we go, it just clicks into place. And the other one. Match it up. There we are. There we go, wheels on. Let's give it a little push. Well, that feels nice. That feels very nice to push. Right, now we can see we've got to put the hood on and we've got the inlay to put on as well. Right, next up, the inlay. And I'm looking at the instructions and I can see here that there's gonna be a zip at the back of the push chair that we need to undo so that we can get the straps through the back of the push chair to get the inlay on. So, let's have a look at that. Let's turn this around. Okay. Right, so there's an obvious one there. And if we have a look down here, there we go. Okay. Right, so that's how you get to the back. These are the straps that we need to get through. We we'll have to get it through the base and then through the material, this is quite fiddly. I hope you can see what I'm doing here, but there we go. Right, next one. Again, that's what we're threading through. So you would find this on any push chair, but it's quite unusual to have a zipped part covering it up. There we go. I'm just having to put my hand through here to get to that so I can thread it through the fabric. So it is quite fiddly. Ah, come on. There we go. Okay. Right. Now we're going to put the inlay on. 
Well, I've come back to you after I've put those straps through. And now, if we spin this around, we need to get the zip done back up at the back. That's an easy one. This one attaches, I don't know how much you can see here, attaches just here. So let's get that on. Okay, done. Now, let's look at the rest of the push chair. It does look smart on. Okay, the material. Material looks comfortable. It's got some slight padding. It's a really attractive material, really nice linen effect. It's not overly soft, but obviously you have got this nice soft liner in here. But as I said, it does look really smart. And we have here adjustable um, a calf adjustment, which is we can move up and down. So we've got little buttons here on either side. That takes it all the way down. And then we press the buttons, that takes it all the way up. So you're going to want it high up when your child is smaller and they want a little bit more support for their legs. As your child grows, you would just bring it down. If we spin the buggy round, we'll have a look at how we adjust the back of it, how we recline the seat. Okay. This button here is not just for reclining. You also use this part here to fold the buggy. So when you're doing the adjustment, don't use this button here, don't touch it. Instead, you just put out this handle and it will bring it down and it will fall into place when it's in the correct position. Okay, there we go. Right, so to bring it up, you do the same thing. So you just pull this little lever out push it up and then it will click in to the position. Okay, so you've got a few different positions you can use there. Right, let's have a look at it um, lie flat. So it's completely upright, use the handle, down it goes. So this is a lie flat position. Okay, now I'm going to get this back up and we are going to put on the hood. I hate doing hoods. I always find these really difficult to get on. Now, the hood must have to go onto the seat unit because it can't go on the frame because the seat unit can be turned either way. So, let's get the instructions for this. Okay, so it looks like it's going to click onto place. Uh -huh, little buttons. Okay. Right, here we go. Okay, so there's a little hole here, which is so that you can get to the clasp to recline the seat and also the button that you need to fold. Here's some little poppers. Huh. They must have to go here. Pop it into place. There we go. Okay, now. We must need to do something. Ah, oh, here we are. Right, so here on the side of the seat unit are some little slots and it looks to me as if that slots in. Okay. Okay, right. I've worked out. I've done this a bit wrong. So this does go through the material and then I'm because it was moving around, I realised I didn't have it on properly. I can see on the back here, that needs to kick into place. So you need to unzip it again to get to that. Let's do the other side. Ah. Right. I 
can feel it here. Now on the instructions, it makes out that it just clicks into place. It's not quite as easy as that. If I open up here, I can see this is where I'm meant to be slotting it in. Because you have to get it through the material, isn't as simple as just slotting it in. But there we go, right. Hood on, I told you I hate putting hoods on, but that is a very different way of doing it because normally you would just have a little bar area that you put the clips onto. Okay, so we've got the hood on. Really nice looking hood. As I said, the material is beautiful. This is like linen material, so it's not soft and cuddly, but it looks really nice. Let's see if we've got an extendable hood here, yeah. We've got a zip? Yes, we do, okay. So here on the hood, you can zip it up. There we go. Right, so it's UPV 50 plus, so you've got some sun protection there, which is great. And as you can see with the zip, it's extendable. So this is how it would be without extending it. That's really nice coverage already. I would imagine we've got a little ventilation bit, yeah. So you've got a ventilation part here, which is gonna help keep your child cool. And then to extend it, unzip it, and then it will pull down. That is great for napping. It's always nice to have an extendable hood. It is normally on these sorts of premium products that you would get something like this, but it's great if your child's napping, especially if they're lying flat in the buggy because they're gonna be nicely cocooned in there. Okay, why I'm down here, this is a removable little bum bag. So this, if we move this up, attaches here. There we go. That's a nice little feature. So you can keep your keys and your phone in here and they'll be perfectly safe. And then you can detach that if you need to as well. We'll also have a look at the basket while we're here. It is quite a shallow basket. So although there is plenty of space in here, you would just need to be careful that nothing's falling out. Um, but loads of space to chuck your coat under there and whatever else you might need. But as I said, because it hasn't got high sides, you would just want to be a little bit careful about what you're putting in there. But with that zip part, you can put all your important bits in there and you know that they'll be safe. Right. If we come back around here, we're going to have a look at the seat unit and how you take it off and turn it round. Okay, so to turn a seat unit, I can see we've got here these little grey, I don't know, clips, whatever they are, little bits. And I'd imagine we're going to have to push them and then lift the seat out at the same time. So let's give that a go. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Right, so it's pushing them in. There we go. Seat unit just lifts out. And then that will slot back into place. I will show you that again. So here is little slidey bits here. You're going to use both hands and then lift the seat up and then slot it back into place. But just before we do that, just to show you here, this is where your adapters are going to go so that you can pop your carry cot on and your car seat on. And then we can put this back down. Whoop. Sort that into place. There we go. Next up, let's fold it. So it tells me on the box, it's got a really fun fold. So we'll, ha we'll have a look at that. Um, but one point about this is you can fold it regardless of whether it's parent facing or forward facing. So that is a nice feature because usually with these buggies where you can have it parent or forward facing you do have to turn a seat round so that is a really nice feature of this push chair so let's spin it round now 
I've been looking at the instructions and it's telling me that we're going to use this little grey button and this little lever here that we use to pull the seat down to recline it. We are going to use both of them together to push the seat forward, which is going to be the first part of the fold. So when we reclined it, we didn't touch this grey button, but now we are going to. So we're going to push it in, pull a little lever and then push the seat down. And then this part here, we're going to lift this up and it should collapse the whole buggy. Right, let's have a go. Oh, lovely. Okay, there you go. And you can see it's freestanding here. Let's push it in. There's a little clasp there. There we go. And that is a really nice fold. Very compact. You will have no issues at all getting that into any boot or storing it. So that is lovely. An interesting way to fold it as well, that is. So let's work out how we get it back up. So I assume we're going to have to move the seat first. Okay, so that's clicked into place. Then we'll need to unclasp it, pull the handle up. Really easy. A little bit difficult if you've never done one of these before, perhaps to work it out, but once you've worked it out, that's really easy. So let's do that again. So with a little gray button, we've got the clasp. Push the button in, pull the clasp up, push the seat down so it's flat. Use this handle here and it just collapses the buggy. Then, to bring it back up, oh no, we want to do the seat first. Seat clicks into place, bring the bar up, the whole push chair will click back into place. Great feature, that's a really nice fold. Okay, we're gonna have a look at the straps next. Here we go. Now, I think these are meant to have um, be magnetic straps. So let's have a look at that. Right, nice solid straps. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little magnetic pull there. So that is just to make it a bit easier if you've got a squirmy child in there to get them fastened in quickly. Lovely, really nice straps. Nice little pads on the straps, nice little detailing on there, and we've got leverette handle and bumper bar. Now, I'm not sure if the bumper bar is... Oh, yeah, there you go. Bumper bar is removable. This came attached, so normally a bumper bar would come separately, but you can remove it using these little buttons here. So let's pop that back into place. There we go. Okay gonna have a little push of this now you can uh, hopefully see how easy this maneuvers it's really easy it's not overly light but it's not particularly heavy either it looks like it's gonna be a nice size for everyday use so you won't have any problems when you're going around the shops or anything like that with this one Another feature on this is that the handle is adjustable so you can move it up and down. So to do that, if you can see here, we've got these two little parts that we need to pull up and the handle will just go up. And then to get them down, you need to pull those gray bits again and push the handle down. So that's great if one of you is a bit taller and you need the handle higher. One last thing I want to look at is I always like to take a look at the seat completely flat with the hood up to see what it's like for your newborn. So let's do that. We're going to move the seat down. So if you remember to do that, we just use this handle here. We don't touch the button and we put it down. So I'm going to put it all the way down. That's as flat as it goes. And then I'm going to pull the hood up. And in fact, if we... There we go, have it all the way up. So you can see what it would be like here for your newborn. I've just grabbed my little weighted baby to put in here, just so you get a good idea. I won't, I won't strap her in. Right, okay. So that's gonna give you an idea of what it's like when you've got a newborn in there. So they're quite covered. You might want the carry cot to start with. Um, obviously, 
an advantage of using the seat over a carry cot is that it's got a slight recline to it, which is great if your baby's got reflux or, you know, for whatever reason doesn't like lying flat. But with the carry cot, they will be more cocooned in there than they are just using the seat. But still, it looks very comfortable. I don't think they're going to be unhappy in there at all. So now we've had a look at these two Joy Signature push chairs separately. I've put them together so that we can do a direct comparison between the two. So first off, both of them, as we've said in the previous parts of the video, are suitable from birth to 22K. So there's no difference there. There's a slight difference in the weight. So the area, this one here, is 11.6 kilograms. And the finity is 11.2 kilograms, so slightly lighter. And as we can see with them side by side, it's also a fair bit smaller. Now there is a price difference between the two. So the area one here is £424.99. And then the finity is £399.99. So there is a price difference. Both of the push chairs include adapters so that you can pop on a carrier cot or a compatible car seat. They both include a rain cover. They both have nice baskets and bumper bars and both of them, the seats can be parent facing or forward facing. So we'll start off by having a look at the seats on both of the push chairs. With the area push chair, we have this really soft insert which was already attached when we took this out of the box. Now this fabric here is removable. You can take all of this off of the seat. And if I show you here, I just discovered this, there's a little zip. So that would allow you to completely remove this back part and that would allow you to, to wash it. Now with the Finity, the inlay wasn't on the push chair when we took it out of the box. So if you remember, we had to put that on by taking out the straps and then refreading everything in. So this also, to me, looks removable. It doesn't look like it's quite as easy to remove as the area, but I can see that it's Velcroed on. And what you would probably need to do is pull off all of the fabrics if you wanted to give it a clean. But obviously with the inlay, that will be easy to remove and clean it. Now the area one, you can see straight off is a lot more padded. So you can really see here the thick padding and you have this part here, which looks like it's gonna give really nice comfort to your child. On the affinity, we can see <clears throat> it's less soft, there's less padding. That's really obvious just by looking at them. Now the material's are also different. So here you've got this really lovely soft inlay. Here we do have a soft inlay, but the material here is just a little bit different. So you have this lovely like linen look on this one here. For the straps, they are exactly the same on both. The only difference that I can see is that the area, you have three different positions you can pop the straps in. We only have two on Affinity, but the clasps are exactly the same. So they are magnetic clasps, if you can see there, which are great to quickly strap your child in. So we have the same here on the area and both of them have padding on the straps with really nice detail, so it looks very smart. Both of the push chairs, you can adjust the calf areas, so they will both, with the little buttons, come down, come up. There we go. So there's no difference at all for those, they both have that. Then if we turn them round, we'll have a look at the recline, because the recline is different on both of these. So let's spin them round. Okay, so the recline here is this little handle that we pull out and then we drop it down until it falls into place. So there we go. 
and the recline on the area is this bar here which you click up and again it will stop when it's fallen into position so let's have a look at both of them on lie flat so if I spin them back round here we go that's the lie flat on both of them they look uh, this one probably looks like it lies slightly more flat than the Finity, but in terms of reclining the seats, they're both as easy as each other. There really isn't any difference in terms of ease. There's just a difference in terms of the handle that you're using to do it. So we'll sit them both back up, show you those reclines again. Oop. Right, so on here, we're going to use this bar. And there we go, that's as high as it goes. And then we're going to use the little handle on here. Okay, so this sits slightly higher than the area. So the Finity definitely does sit more forward than the area one. And if we turn them round, put them into place one of the things I really noticed with these is the area has like this nice side bit so that when you do push the seat down your child is a little bit more protected because they have all of this as a side bit so if I quickly put it down you'll see what I mean okay so here they are nicely cocooned in. You don't have that on the Finity. If I pull that down again, to show you the difference is there. They don't have any side protection. So that's why when I was looking at them both, I was thinking that perhaps with the Finity, you would want to put a carry cot on there for when your baby is newborn, because it's nice to have them cocooned in. But with the area, I don't see much need for the carry cot unless that's your preference because as you can see they'll be completely comfortable and protected in there. Both of the seat units can be used forward facing and parent facing. The only difference you have is how they come off of the frame which we've had a look at um, previously in the video but both were very easy to do so there wasn't one that I feel is better than the other. Another difference on both of these is the Finity has an adjust adjustable handle, so you can move the handle up and down, but on the area, you can actually move the whole seat unit up and down. Now, one of the reasons I really liked that is because when you have a newborn, if they're parent facing, you can get that seat up high, which brings them much closer to you, which is, I'm sure, probably very comforting for baby and for you to have them that close. With some push chairs, they're really low down. So I liked that feature. Um, but we don't have that on Affinity, but that having a handle that moves up and down is also really useful if you've got a partner that's taller than you or shorter than you, so that you can quickly adjust it to make it comfortable for both of you. So we're gonna take a look at the folds on both of the push chairs, but just before we do that, I've just remembered I need to tell you that the handle on the area is adjustable um, in the same way that the Finity is. So you can move the seat unit as well as the handle up and down. Now the folds on both of these push chairs are very different. So we're gonna start off with the Finity. And one of the good features about this is that you can fold this down regardless of whether it's parent or forward facing. So on the, the area push chair, you do have to have it forward facing before you can fold. So that's a really nice bonus on this one. So to do it, we're using this little gray button. We're pulling out the clasp. You push the seat down. Then you use this handle, lift it up. The whole buggy collapses. So if we put that down there, you can see it's a really brilliant compact fold this is going to go into any boot you haven't really got any worries there and it will store nicely away as well and you could use that as a carry handle now obviously the area is bigger 
therefore we would expect to have a bigger fold but we're going to compare and see how much bigger so we're going to use these little grey bits here which you're going to push in and then push up at the same time and then you push the buggy down there we go you're going to see here that's the difference of the folds so the area you are going to need more room to store that you will need a decent sized boot to put that in with affinity you're going to have no worries i love the fold on affinity it's really easy to use once you've worked out how to do it it's so simple and quick slightly more difficult to find fold the area just because you have to have your hands in the right place at the right time and then push the whole frame down and because it is a slightly heavier buggy it's slightly more difficult to do both push chairs are easy to manoeuvre you've got lovely swivel wheels on both of them which makes it very easy the area does feel heavier to push than affinity which you would expect so comparing them if i was to buy one and i had a big enough boot i would for sure go for the area i absolutely love how cocooned your child will be in the seat the seat unit is lovely I don't think I've ever seen such a nice, comfortable, padded seat that gives so much protection on the side. The Finity is perfect if you don't have the room for the area and you do need a more compact fold. So things I like about the Finity is the fold. The fold's brilliant and it would be great if it was the same sort of fold on the area because the area is slightly more clunky in terms of the fold mechanism. But... Like I said, if I had the room, although they're both beautiful buggies, I would go for the area just in terms of comfort. And also I do like a nice chunky buggy. So if you did have the space for it, this is, both of them would be brilliant all round everyday buggies. But this would be great if you're not too worried about having to fold it down all the time and you had room in your hallway just to quickly push it in. If you had less space, smaller hallway, um, not, not as much room to store. This would be lovely just because you can easily fold this down and store it away. But these two push chairs, you can see on first sight, are really smart. The fabrics are lovely. The design is lovely. There are really good features on both. And the fact that with both of them, you can easily get them out of the frame and turn them parent facing or forward facing. And it takes seconds to do and that you can just pop those adapters in for carry cots or compatible car seats are such a good feature of both of them. So there we have the Joy Signature push chairs, the Finity and the area. And I hope that this review has helped you to decide which one would be better for you. And if you need any more information, you can go on to buggybaby.co.uk.